All right, Captain Frank on his maiden voyage. Never driven a boat before. here at Racetown Lake Resort and guys this campsite is one to see because first off let's take a look at the view so this morning we did something that we never do we always say that we're gonna do it and then we never actually follow through we set an alarm to get up early and watch the sunset Frank brewed himself some coffee did I say sunset or sunrise damn it I have filmed this four times now where I said sunset every single time so you can see how I am not a morning person. Now we're gonna watch the sun rise and then we're gonna have some nice breakfast and start our very first full day here at Racetown Lake. Boasting 400 acres of waterfront property, there is a ton to see and do at the resort. When you first get to the visitor center, it's very easy to get distracted by the two alpacas living outside. Hey. <laughs> nah, that's where you're eating. That's cool. Heading into the camp store, we were blown away by how big it was and how much they had to offer. The visitor center is a quick drive away from the marina. If you're looking to take a break from cooking, there is the Marina Cafe, which offers waterfront views on their back patio and an extensive menu. In addition to the Marina Cafe, there's also the Proud Mary Showboat, which offers various sightseeing cruises and dinner cruises for an additional fee. Speaking of boats, Boating is the name of the game at the resort. All registered guests are permitted to bring their boats. You can either moor your boat on the shoreline or store it in a trailer at one of the many overflow parking lots. And if you don't have a boat, the marina offers rentals all season long, seven days a week. So today we found out that sometimes it pays to wait until the last minute. By chance, we weren't sure, we checked the website, it didn't look like there were any boats available for rent. So we walked down to the marina anyways. Uh, and they actually had a boat available for us to rent. And we actually got a discount on it because it was a little bit later in the day. Um, so it never hurts to ask is definitely the lesson here. Developed by the Army Corps of Engineers in 1973 with over 118 miles of shoreline and 8,300 acres of water, Raystown Lake is the largest lake in Pennsylvania. It's pretty chilly, might have to buy one. I don't know about that. <laughs> We're gonna take a little break, eat our lunch on the water, just kind of bob and float around and watch some of the other boats go cruising by. This is really fun. I've never been on a boat before, never driven a boat. Same with Frank and we're having a blast. We're really glad that we did this. Frank just found out that we can pair our phones to the Bluetooth speaker system on board and he's currently downloading the app so we can just jam out the music here on the water. Would you like to give us a little uh, boat tour? Yeah, sure thing. If you are looking for storage on a boat, whatever brand boat this is, has a ton of it. Storage. Oh, that's 
<laughs> I guess because it's a boat. Yeah, uh, very comfortable seat. Very hot right now, burning my legs. Storage. Ooh. But wait, there's more. Guess what? Storage. Ooh. However, you can tell we didn't learn this until later in the boat ride. Didn't use any of the storage. Yeah, here's our life jackets. Ha ha ha, they can stay right there. Um, the other thing I really like is our speedometer does not work, so we're going anywhere between zero and 35 miles per hour. Well, we've been at a consistent five, no matter how fast we go. Yeah, so that's good, because even if we are a full throttle. I uh, discovered this bad boy has a Bluetooth, which I've linked up to my phone. Not playing right now, obviously, because of uh, royalties and YouTube would knock it off. Um, you got some of these uh, 12 volts, some other drones, looks like a fuse. You got a ladder in the back. Got a ladder in the back. Ooh, ladder in the back. Ooh, somebody. We do have, ooh. We are rocking. We're rocking. <laughs> somebody just flew past us. Wee. Wee. And then we have this tube on the back. We didn't bring our bang suits, so we're not pulling on that. That's unfortunate, but I think just the two of us would have been difficult anyway. I think so. Out. I feel like Frank would have been speeding away and then this empty tube would have just been skipping behind us yeah, while the, I'm waving miles back. Yeah, with the music on, I, I would get distracted and I would just keep on rolling. Uh, you can put lemonades in here. How Mike's many lemonades, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's not, no. But <laughs> hold on, you do have one, two, three, four, five, Six, at least six cup holders. That That's I can awesome. See. And look, we have the speakers for the MP3 like all the way around. We've been jamming yeah. to uh, Yacht Rock playlist on Spotify. It's been pretty good. It yeah. played Brandy, You're a Fine Girl, which is a perfect song for the yeah. sea. So overall, it is a really fun experience. We're glad we did this. A boat might be in our future. <laughs> Not in the near future, but in the future, we will have a boat for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. We just have to think of a cool boat name. I don't know, comment down below what you think a cool boat name would be. Give it a shot. <laughs> we came up with a couple <laughs> ideas, but I can't share it on YouTube, and I don't even know if you can legally put it on a boat. Ooh, look at that big head. But uh, yeah, we're gonna keep on cruising around. Tonight we're gonna go uh, hang out with the dogs. The dogs have been sitting in the air-conditioned camper. We've had them on camera, we've been checking that. Yeah. Then we also have a sensor that we can verify the temperature. Mm -hmm. Um, They've been really nice and cool Nice and good. So we took them and walked around before we came out here so they'd be nice and tuckered out. And, yeah. Um, you know, yesterday was our anniversary, so we wanted to actually celebrate it and take a little time to ourselves, and this is our little treat. So thanks for coming along with us, and we'll continue touring on with uh, Racetown Lake. jet ski and he's doing a bunch of like tricks and stuff out on the lake. Frank's gonna try to fly his drone over to catch some of it. Taking in the show on the waterfront, we decided to unwind with a nice bottle of wine and hang out by the campfire. The view of the water that night was gorgeous, and with a nice dark sky, we were able to see plenty of stars. And with that, we wrapped up our first full day at Lake Racetown Resort. With so much to do and so much to see at the resort, we decided that one video wasn't enough. Stay tuned for part two next week where we show you even more of the resort and spend more time on the water. That looks like there's a message in a bottle, so let's see what it says. If I can get it. If you're new here, thanks for watching. And if you like what you saw, please hit that thumbs up button. 
Make sure to subscribe if you want to join us on more adventures every Monday night. We'll see you next time.